Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah and today's video is a barn vlog. Today is Wednesday. This is probably going to be attached with like next weekend's content just because I'll be able to film a little bit today and then a little bit. It'll be a progressive vlog. <laughs> quick riding outfit of the day because I know you guys all want to see that. So we have this Ivory Ella shirt on, we have a C4 belt, and then we have these Smart Pack Pipers with petties because I wear petties every day. That is the riding look for today, if you will. This is her. So what you do is you dress yourself up like this. Mm. Make sure your, ear, your hair is over your ears, right? Mm. Your hair is over your ears. That's yeah. such a hard. This is what you have two knots, right? So you slide, up, you slide it up. Make sure you have your eyes closed and that stuff. Otherwise, you'll go blind. So that's not good. And then give yourself a really cool hairdo and um, put your ponytail over it. Maybe once or twice, whenever you feel like. And you have a little tail, right? You gotta make sure. Ow. You gotta make sure you run a clip. This. <laughs> you gotta got flip her over. Like a cool hit. And then you just. Oh, I'm showing up it. Did you do it? Vlog update. I am here joined by my bird. Not much has happened this week, but I'm hoping to film my ride today. It's been a hot minute since I vlogged, but school has basically taken over my entire existence as the end of the year is approaching. So the fact that the weather where I live right now has been really trashy and the arena is a swamp. And so I didn't want to vlog in the indoor because there's a bunch of people in the indoor and the lighting is not good in the indoor. So this vlog is very weird, um, not a typical vlog. I'm going to try to vlog tomorrow at least my ride or something and then have this video up the day after that <laughs> we will see how that goes i'm typically don't like to do that i usually have my videos done like a week in advance but this week's just not happening for me so that's the current situation so i apologize about the weird awkwardness of this video so enjoy one more riding montage hi everyone it's saturday there's a bunch of people here it's raining and Bella is soaked. So I have her under the heat lamp so she can dry. I'm gonna get her into a dry halter and yeah, I'm really, really happy about this weather today that we're having. Hubbub. 
She loves it too. Hey guys, it's Hannah, and right now, back. Right now, I made a course. It's a jumper course. Um, it should be at the World Equestrian Center in Mall. No, it's really bad. It really shouldn't. Yeah, like there's like a <laughs> that part that's like. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Just go over there. I need to do it by myself. I need to judge by myself. Depressing much. No, Just I'm sit in that lit. corner, Hannah. <laughs> okay, so I'm updating you guys as I'm putting my boots on because I've been here for like a long time and Bella's finally dry, groomed, and tacked. So I'm just going to put my boots on. Um, I'm gonna film my ride because there's no one else here now because everyone left, which is actually good timing because, you know, she finally dried. Kentucky Derby's apparently going on right now. I uh, did not know that, but it's okay because I'm not really interested in watching that. It is raining and it's awful weather. And when it's raining and we're riding inside, Bella's usually the worst that she'll ever be. So like I foreshadowed, Bella was not very good this ride. I don't think it was her being naughty. She was just really fresh under the, with the weather going on. So I just decided to voice over kind of how I deal with Bella when she's fresh. So first I walk around for a while and then I get right into trotting. The main thing I do in the very beginning is just to get her as warmed up as possible because the way that I get the energy off is actually in the canter. So I just kind of trot around, but I don't just let her do whatever she wants. I try to get her in the right, you know, with her head right and more on the rear end and this does result in her pulling me because she doesn't want to do it so i stopped right there i actually stopped a lot more but this video would have been way too long if i showed you everything i did so that's kind of how i dealt with it then i walked for a little bit and then right back into the trot um i picked up the trot after i'd already walked out of view but picked up the trot basically the main thing that i have to keep in mind when i'm doing this with bella is that it's easy for her to go on the forehand so i have to put her on her hind end which ends up with me working so much harder but it ends up working in my favor because by the end of this ride she was actually really really good so it did 95 percent of the ride was awful and me wanting to just stop but i did have five percent of that ride be very very good and like she normally is so here i switched direction and she wanted to canter already but I was like, no, you have to work a little bit more on the back end. I also didn't want to just go into straight into cantering because I didn't want her to tear anything. I wanted her to properly warm up just like any other day. So this was just basically me trying to get her to listen to me. Here I'm picking up the canter. As you can see, I really didn't cut that much of the trot out there. She wasn't wanting to do it because I didn't let her warm up with the canter. I sat down, put her straight on her butt and made her go to work. She didn't like that because that results in we're having to do way more work rather than running on the forehand. She can run on the forehand all day long. She doesn't have the energy to fight me and to ride on the back end. So it didn't take long before she was actually really good. So I switched directions and I do the same thing again. It's actually really simple. And in this clips, you can't really understand how fresh she is. So some of you might be thinking this looks like a normal horse on any given day, but Bella's really good at masking what she's actually doing. In reality, this ride was extremely difficult. So that's why I wanted to voice it over. I'm still cantering on this circle. I do lots of circle work with Bella because the circles help to slow her down. The turning helps her to slow down. Anything that helps her to slow down is my friend at this point. So I go back to the trot after that. I actually did a full lap of canter without a single pull and that's actually huge for Bella. And then I went into the trot again afterwards because I like to do that as a way to just kind of go not to go straight out of work and then I walked around obviously cooled her out but yeah that's kind of a quick overview summary of today's ride and also kind of how I deal with Bella when she's fresh thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you'd like to see me on a more daily basis my Instagram will be linked down below bye guys <laughs>